Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at five steps to fix Windows 11. Now, there's quite a few things that can go wrong with Windows 11, and so many people just don't do the basic stuff, which is built into Windows 11 itself to try and fix or remedy the problem. And I'm going to show you some of those today. First off, let's check memory. Now, memory can cause a lot of problems with Windows, and if you have an issue with your memory, like a bad uh, stick of RAM in there, it's going to cause a problem. And Windows has its own built-in memory tester. It's not the best in the world, but it's a start if you don't have any spare RAM to swap out to see if the problem goes away. So to start that off, what you need to do is open up your start button here and you can type memory in here. Just type memory like so. And once you type memory, you should see the Windows memory diagnostic right here. Click on this one. And as you can see, it says memory problems can cause your computer for the loss of information or stop working. Restart now and check for problems recommended. That's what it's saying right here. So let's go ahead and click on this one right here. It'll restart your system. So let that just restart. And you should see something looking like this. It's already running the test for us. It's just doing a quick basic test. And this is only gonna take a little bit of time. What you really wanna be doing is pushing F1. So if we push F1, this will give us some options. So let's go ahead and push F1. And now you can see it's got a basic test, a standard test, and we also have an extended test. So let's go ahead and do the extended test. The extended test gives you a description here. The extended test includes all the standard tests plus uh, maths plus and also cache disabled and a bunch of other stuff here, as you can see listed on the screen. This is important because we want to make sure that our memory is in good working order. By using the tab key on the keyboard here, we can now navigate down to this next area here. So you can see here, default, and we also have on, and we also have off. Depending on how you want to set yours up, you also can push the tab key again, and this will give you 0 to 15. So it's only doing 2 at the moment, but we're going to put this on 15. And what we're going to do is we're going to push the tab key. So all we need to do now is push F10 to apply. Now you can see the test is now running. It's doing pass 1 of 15. This will take a fair bit of time, so be patient. And again, uh, the overall status you can see there is 0% 0, 0 complete. And uh, you can run this late at night when you go to bed. That's probably the best bet because it will take a few hours. And best thing to do is leave your computer on, turn the monitor off and make sure the computer doesn't shut down and leave this running uh, while you sleep. And when you wake up, hopefully you will see past and there's no problems found. If it does, you know you've got problem with your memory. Next up, we're going to check the drive on our computer. So what we're going to do now is check the hard drive. So what we're going to do is go to the start button here and we're going to type CMD like so. And we're going to run this as administrator. Once command prompt window is open, what you want to do here is you want to put in this command here. And this is going to tell us the health of our drive. So we're going to push enter here and you can see the status is OK. This means that the drive smart reading is doing okay now there is software which is much more in depth and you should run that on your pc called crystal disk info this will tell you whether the smart readings on your drive or whether your drive is failing also what you can do is run check disk check disk is going to be allowed to check the drive to make sure the drive is functioning properly so let's go ahead and do that for that you need to do chk dsk and then space forward slash and then question mark, and then push enter. And this will give you all of the little switches that you can use. Now you can see here the repair, the forward slash R, this locates bad sectors and re recovers readable information. And you can also see there is an one called forward slash F, which fixes errors on the disk. So you can do these uh, two commands. These are the ones you want to do. Uh, forward slash X forces the volumes to dismount first if necessary. So you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and uh, start this off. So all we need to do here is do the same thing, chk, dsk, 
and then space forward slash R, like so, and this will run a check on the drive. Now it's also possible to double up on these. So let me just show you that there. So we can now tell it what drive we want to do. So we can do the C colon and then space forward slash F and you can do that one as well. Or you can do space forward slash R as well. And then you can also do dismount as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to push enter and we're going to say Y for yes. And we're going to push enter again and your volume will be checked the next time you restart your system. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to restart, restart the system. And again, you will see this restarting and then it will show up. So don't touch the keyboard at this stage. It just needs to start the check this process and it will go ahead and check the disk and it will use the forward slash R and the forward slash F commands that we told it to do. So like I said, forward slash F is going to fix the errors on the disk and forward slash R is going to locate bad sectors and recover those re readable information on that drive. Now this can take a bit of time, so be patient and let it run its full scan. Now we'll give you some information on the screen once it's complete, but if you did this when you were asleep, you can always pull this information up in PowerShell, as you can see here. And I've pulled this information up with the command that I've got on top of the screen there. And you can see it's pulling this information from the event uh, viewer ID. No bad sectors were found and it's done a full scan on our drive. It will give you stage by stage breakdown and tell you exactly what is happening with your drive. No further action is required and that's exactly what you want. No problems were found. If you do see bad sectors or you see the drive is failing, you need to start thinking about backing your data up and replacing that drive. So we're going to go back into control panel and from here we're going to run SFC scan now. So SFC scan now is a system file checker utility that checks the integrity of your Windows system files and repairs them when required. Now hopefully once you run this scan you should have no problems with your Windows system files. If you do it will show you and give you a readout of exactly what happened during this scan. So we'll let this scan finish and you should see something like this if you have a problem. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. For online repairs, details included, you may need to check the CBS log file located in the directory that it tells you. So basically it's, it's run a check on the system, it found some corrupted files and it's repaired them. You can now run SFC scan now again, and hopefully when it runs it again, it should say Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This means that all the problems have been fixed. Now you can also check and repair the Windows image, and you would need to use the DISM command for this. So you would type it out like this on the screen. So DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup and then dash image. And then from here, you want to do space forward slash scan health. What this is going to do is scan our image, our Windows image to check for corruption. And uh, it will take several minutes to complete. And when it's complete, it should give you a readout. So I'll quickly let this scan finish and I'll show you the end result. So I'll speed this process along. And then you might see something like this that says the component store is repairable the operation completed successfully. So now we can do another command. You can use your tab keys, the up arrow key to bring up the command again and use your backspace to take out the end part. And what we're gonna do now is do a check health. This will check the image to see whether any corruption has been detected and we can let that run. So just let this run. It does take a bit of time. You can see the component store is repairable the operation completed successfully. Use the up arrow keys again, and what we can do now is restore health. This will restore our image. This is gonna try to now repair our image, our Windows image that we have, and hopefully when this is done, you should see uh, all the problems go away. We should have a working system, and we can run, obviously, SFC scan now after this to make sure everything is working okay and we have no more violations or any more errors. 
with our Windows image. You can see the restore operation completed successfully. So what we can do now is do one more quick scan here. So what we want to do now is we're going to do a quick SFC space forward slash scan now and let that run one more time. And hopefully we have no more violations on our system and everything is working as should be. So we'll let that run. And you can see once I speed this up, we should get the end result right here and everything should be working. Windows resource protection uh, did not find any integrity violations. That's good. So I'm going to do one more quick check with the DISM command for scan health and hopefully everything should be working perfectly fine now. And you can see no component store corruption detected. The operation su completed successfully and everything is working the way it should be. Now, if you're still having some major issues, you can run a system restore on your system. Uh, you can try it system restore to try and go back to a time when it was working correctly. If you haven't got one of those, you can use reset this PC. You can choose uh, keep my files. If you have all your files backed up, you can remove everything, which is always a good test to do. And also cloud download. This is going to download a fresh copy of Windows from Microsoft rather than using the local one on your system. Once that's done, it's going to get a few things ready. Now, hopefully, if you follow these simple steps, you should be able to fix and repair a lot of your Windows issues that you have. So if you don't and you can't fix them, then you will need to use the reset this PC feature. And if this doesn't work, you will need to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows on it and try to install Windows that way. If that fails, then you probably have some sort of major hardware problem which you will need to do further investigation and troubleshoot on. Once you hit the reset now, it's going to reset Windows back and everything should be working the way it should be. Anyway, I hope these tips have helped you out. Now, a lot of this is related to uh, your Windows operating system, apart from the memory test that you've done. Again, it could be other hardware issues or it could be another uh, software issue like a graphics driver problem or maybe another driver issue that you'd be having with your system. So you'd need to do further checks on those if you have other issues with your PC. Anyway, but that's it. I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. You can always pop on our Discord server if you need help over there. Link is in the video description. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.